Hello and welcome to the short board on a double parsha, Tazriya Mitzora, from Shishi to Shvi. In honor of the double parsha, I'm going to share Divrei Torah from a father and a son on the same Pasuk and connect the two. So in Perak Gimel Pasuk Memhe, which is Shishi of Tazriya, we have uh, Sefer's Naim La Torah, which is written by the father, Rev Zalman Saratskin. And later on, we're going to conclude with the Dvar Torah from Sefer Megid Yosef, which is Rabbi Yosef Lev Saratskin, Rav Zalman's son. Uh, and for that, we'll fulfill our obligation of a double Dvar Torah for two parshios. there. So, uh, it says in the Pasuk, with Tamei Tamei Yikra, uh, a Mitzorah, when he's in isolation, uh, if people come near him, he calls out, Tamei Tamei, that I'm Tamei, he tells them uh, that he is impure. So it says it in double language. So Rav Zalman Sarutzin says there's a reason why it's Tame mentioned twice, because each Tame represents uh, two aspects. The first Tame is an aspect to tell them, stay away from me, because I don't want you to become Tame by getting in contact with me. So that's the first Tame. And the second one is based on Moed Katan, where he's asking them to have mercy on him and to pray on his behalf. So that's the second reason why it's Tame. So that's Tame Tame. So the son... Rab Yosef Leib in Megid Yosef. So, on the part in Moed Katan, he, he brings down the question of the Chavetz Chaim that says, why is it only mentioned by Mitzora that he's asking people to pray? Shouldn't it be prayed by other people who have sinned, to have people to, or other situations where, where they're in trouble? So, why, why is it different? Because the Mitzora is the only uh, time that we know the punishment of the sinner that it's coming from Lashon Hara. And the Baal Lashon Hara, he is not able to, because as he uses his mouth for bad, he is not able to pray and get listened to on himself. Therefore, he needs other people to pray on his behalf. So, the Chavetz Chaim continues that, well, you know, there's other, in general, people need help on their behalf because you can't pray for yourself uh, you know, like a prisoner doesn't can't free himself from prison. So you always need someone else to pray on your behalf. You don't pray just for yourself. Uh, so it must be that the Chazal is not telling us about the fact that he's asking someone to pray for him, but focusing on that he's the one who has to tell the people that he has sinned and needs that needs mercy, um, and that they should pray for him then. But it's him telling the other people why, because here he says lashon hara. And we know what his sin is being punished for. Therefore, people go around trying to get other people to be mispal on his behalf. But in fact, be saying Lashon Hara about this person that he's a Baal Lashon Hara. So therefore, they can't make it, they can't say Lashon Hara in order to help him out. Therefore, the Mitzur himself, he has to ask for Rachamim. Uh, he has to tell the people um, about his situation and not them telling others about him. And, and finally, uh, an alternative reason why he tells them is something we mentioned, I believe, four years ago in the 5771 Dvar Torah from Dvar Mantu in Tazria. And that is that one of the reasons why the person is punished with Saras is because of Gava, because he, he's prideful and by you know, saying Lash Torah because you think you're better than the other person. So here, by having to beg for other people to do stuff for him, so that's a way of lowering himself to be a Kapara, saying Lashon So thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos.